They're good between 20, 30, 40, and 50 year old women. Even well, 50 old women like dick all night. We all in. This is Jamaican chick on my route. I think she want me. She always come out with like little shorts and like a top and her nipples is always hard. <laughs> I might just try to get her. I want me an older chick. Oh, okay, there. She be bold, you. She be coming out there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so late. I told her. I told her last week. I said, I'm about to come back there and get it next time. Now, don't be. Don't be. <laughs> she started laughing. I was like, you look wonderful. That's the shit. I was like, you look wonderful. I couldn't believe I said it, so I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, the whole day I'm like, I should have asked for a number. Why the fuck I ain't asked for a number? Are you gonna ask for it tomorrow? It's Wednesday. If she come out there Wednesday, I'm gonna come and say, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come and say, how you doing? What's up, that brown stoochie? Hey, man, all right, let's go and get it going. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to episode 75 of Boulevard Ave Radio. I am your boy, Logan the Machine, aka Old Man Logan. How you doing? That voice y'all heard right there, Gas Station Pete. What's poppin', people? What's next to him is Miss Nikki Nick Shoes Wise. Peace and blessings. And to my left is the boy, the engineer extraordinaire, Mr. B. Daniel. Hey, what's up? <laughs> 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 and that voice, I'm just gonna uh, announce it now because he here too. I'm sure y'all gonna hear it in the F. That's gonna be Mr. Vern Diller in the background. Okay. What's good? What's good? He playing with the Behringer right now. We're trying to upgrade some stuff in the studio. <clears throat> All right, so everybody, how everybody feeling, man? Sunday afternoon, bears on, trying to do something. I'm cool, easy. Clippers just pissed me off. How are we guys, Clippers? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Easy peasy. All because of Paul George, really. How's it all because of Paul George? Paul George is a just, bum. He, he doesn't, doesn't do every, anything. every every playoff. You know this. I mean, that's why you should have went to the Lakers. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Don't even come over there. You want him over there? Yeah, uh, uh, He'd have played the role. LeBron would have had him in his role. Like, no. look, you get this 15 to 20 when no. I need you to, and you, we're going to I'd rather deal with Caldwell Pope than deal with Paul George. Caldwell Pope, he's, he he's Caldwell Pope. Stay, you know, this right? Caldwell Pope is is okay. He's at that tier where he can be doing that type of shit. Damn, Rondo, Paul George, okay. do that shit. I'm punching this shit out of you, fam. They activated Rondo at the right time. Because <laughs> that first game. Russell got to try to fuck with Willie Rondo. One right. of his brother, Willie Rondo. Rondo come out playing the mind games, boy. Killing them niggas. They knew what to do. That's why they did. Brother didn't give a fuck about getting kicked out. Niggas know Westbrook is emotional. Yeah. They, yeah, know, they know exactly how to get to him. I'm going to get this nigga in. Fuck with him. And he just doing this. Every time he gets to doing this with his hand, I just be rolling. Hey. <laughs> okay. He can't walk down the court and say, okay. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. How, how you going to tell the ref? Okay. Okay. Get your wings out. All right, man. Well, let's go on here and get this started. Uh, where I want to start? We all want we just go with the flow, or it don't matter. Let's go. Let's let's, let's talk with music, man. We was talking some music. We had some new releases that came out this week. We gonna start with Conway the Machine Woo! from a king to a god, man. Fire. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, Conway got uh, top five best pen in the game right now. I'm gonna say, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Come on. No, no, that nigga nice. Y'all put me on that nigga. That nigga nice. Conway, my favorite one out of Gazelle. Yeah, that man really? cold. Like, that uh, album was structured like an album. Like, it wasn't nothing. Let's put this out. Oh, let's get this nigga a real nice album. He, mm -hmm. he even went, you know, different routes with it. Like, he always, he's got a, a variety of producers. He got Hit Boy, he got Alchemist. He yeah. always fucking with Alk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I think Havoc might have did a track on it. The Hit Boy is the song. The Hit Boy did the one with Dave Lowe? I think so. Yeah, okay. I yeah, like that. That's my that shit. That came out like two, three weeks ago. Yeah, they, that's my, I like that song a that's lot. So that beat just, oh, man. Conway. Man, I love me some Dave Lowe. Yeah. I'm mad. Uh, Big Sean ain't put on that. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. she wasn't on that freestyle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it was the other girls from Detroit. She didn't fit though. Oh, okay. he, he put spinners on. I mean, he put her yeah. on a song. Period. Like a, a song on there. Like, just you know. some with him. Just she could have been on Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. She was on the mixtape though, wasn't she? Like, uh, back in the day. I don't even remember. Well, no, nah, she probably went out back in. Yeah. Um, what else, man? But salute to Conway. That album was great, bro. Thanks for putting out that. Um, uh, let's see. Bob put an album out. Oh my God. Somnia. Really? Yep. Hold on. Let me ask Vern. You fuck with Bob? No. Not even. No. You like Bob? You don't like Bob? I used to. I used to too. Boy, the bears came back. I would. I would have thought Vern would fuck with Bob because he be on that Earth is flat shit. Because you know Bob is. Like, well, I fuck with him. Bob is <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's like he he talk about that type of shit. Then all of a sudden he got a song with Ty Dolla Songs called Full Lit. Talking about having a foursome. Like, what the fuck yeah, you I, I, I don't understand, Where like, you the, at? The track you did with Bruno Mars, I thought, yeah. that, I thought that was his vibe. I'm like, I'm fucking with this. Heaven. Right. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was my shit in 2010. 
Them yeah. And he came them out them? with the uh, We In This Bitch and all this other shit. Yeah, I like that. Trump. What is this? He threw me off. No. He was trying to he was trying to uh, cater to too many audiences. Yeah, he I showed mean, yeah, he, he had a project called No Genre. Mm-hmm. You gotta have a genre. Right. You gotta have a bass genre at least. Something that you do more. Oh. Cause he had the airplane song that was real big. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah, let's go big. Commercial song. Oh no, see, I don't need none of that. <laughs> let's go big. I got money on the lions. Y'all fucking up. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, let's that's, see who that's else. What though. you get? Don't know. NBA boy, huh? Young Boy. I know that's your boy. Oh, nope. I don't but, like him. <laughs> top. Oh, his like his album is called Top. I heard he just got a. Uh, he just knocked up Mayweather's daughter. For real. I can believe it. Yeah. Don't yeah, he got this herpes? Is, this is baby number what eight. What the hell? He the one that got herpes. Baby yeah. number eight. This nigga got eight babies. He yeah. the one that got herpes. Damn. I don't know why I keep saying it like I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Nigga. Lee, Sean, Lee, Lee. Eight babies. Herpes. The babies' names are Joseph, <laughs> Johaima. <laughs> I keep saying herpes. Herpes. Yeah, my bad, bro. I ain't not. Nah, baby <laughs> name NBA Junior, NBC. NBA. Right. NBA. Let's see, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the soundtrack for P Valley came out. I thought it been out. Because no, I should I got that down in the dirty where the girls get naked. All right. That's, <laughs> that's my shit. Right. <laughs> I don't care what nobody said. Say. So that joint niggas. came out. No, they came out Friday, though. So they probably really? the same way. No, she said them niggas grind hard, but these hoes grind hard. Man, hmm. keep it. I'm surprised at how many grandmamas and great grandmamas like that show. That's a good fucking show, man. Yeah. I, I, I get it, but these, these, you know, church goers I'm talking about. It's yeah. church. They're talking about church. They're talking about like man. They're talking about church and how church people mean. Yeah. Well, they say ain't no crying in the paint. Right. Man. I would. I thought man. they would say turn this stuff off. What is this? Uh, 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 mama like, oh, mama was the Oh, this is the story. Yeah. Yeah. You know that Mississippi is yeah. hard. They, they was in the juke joint. That was the, the originals yeah. of the juke joint. Yeah. So of course they. See, the mama on the show said it. Shit, I had to own this motherfucker. Back when uh, Sammy Davis was coming through this. Slide you know through, baby, because I couldn't see. But it's a good show. Good, good, good show, good show. As soon as I finish Cobra Kai, I'm in it. How far you got in Cobra Kai? I'm done with it. I'm about to start season two. Okay, okay. okay. I'm done with it. So now. Season two, you'll be able to see, like, they got a little more money. Mm-hmm. They made the season a little longer. You know what I'm saying? They go a little in there. It, I like it. It was a real good it season. It was good. Yeah. Cobra Kai's a great show. Yeah, it's, it's a throwback. Yeah. All right. And speaking of throwbacks, tonight. We got oh, legendary. Man. Are they playing tonight? No, no, yeah. no. I mean, going against singing. Yeah. They playing. I'm mean, singing tonight. <laughs> singing tonight. Well, right. tonight. Versus, yes, yes, that is tonight. Oh, Miss Patty tonight. Labelle versus I, Gladys Knight. Love you. I do too. Love you. Ah. Love you. But I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest Hard with you. Hard fried catfish. <laughs> hey, you see this video? They showed all that. They showed all that. Did y'all see this video? Was it? They making food. Yeah, they was making food. She was like, I'm bringing this. What you bringing, girl? And then Gladys said, You can't do this, Patty. Just talk. Just come on, baby. Let's talk. No. Jesus. Like Cameron said, I just want to have some of all of that. <laughs> I put that logo on no, all man. of that. No, baby. Cameron said it, so it's, that's law. I don't know. Man, man, man. Man. They should have switched it up. They call the same thing. No, no. Ciroc. This was like Crown Royal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is Nitro. Crown Royal. This is Crown Royal. Yeah, this is when you throw the seed. Oh, wine. Iris Rose. Oh, no. It don't matter. He's leaving. Old oh, town. Hey, tell. Glad go weak. Since we talking about this, the other night, I was talking to my niece, because we always talk about making movies. I said, we should make a scary movie Nine called Midnight Nine. Train to Georgia. Mm. Back Georgia? in the 50s, it's a singing group going to Georgia on Stop. the train at midnight. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, bitch. Stop giving out so yes, much stuff. Okay, man. bitch. Before Monkey Power Productions be made. Right. 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 This is time stamped. Moment of creation was said on air. Okay. That's true. That is true. There we go. Yeah, I'll I'll stop there you go. So is this this versus is this actually a versus or this is just a celebration? Celebration, man. Oh, it's a man, celebration. Man, they're about to be throwing pies at each other, bro. This is a celebration. Oh man, glad I'm going to do some patty gonna burn when it's food. I do. And <laughs> uh, chicken was looking good. I probably was hungry. <laughs> 
Gladys is gonna kill Patty. Okay. You got Gladys. Yeah, no, not even a win. No, Patty ain't got that many songs. Gladys got it. Well, hey, hold on, come on, come on, come on. I'm ready. All right, bye. Get your, get bye. Let me get right here. What are you talking about, nigga? Sit down. I'm going to tell you. Patty ain't got that many songs. Patty ain't got that many songs, Gladys. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, you grew up with them. You should know. Your mama did. <laughs> she did. Listen, Gladys <laughs> got one. She going to do the soundtrack. Claudine. Nigga, sit down and shut up. See, you don't have to know. Because Claudine, he was a garbage man. Claudine? You should know about that. <laughs> That's why he's not going to be. You crazy? Patty didn't. Claudine I'm sorry. got a We whole... talking about Gladys. Claudine is the movie star. What's her name is on Claudine? Who? 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 What's Curtis Mayfield's on Claudine? And too? she had the rest of it. Thank you, Grace. I'm collab on Come on now. What, what Patty had? Oh, Claudine is not going to be Patty. So, I'm sorry. You Patty, was, Patty was in a group, wasn't she? Patty yeah. was in LaBelle. She had seven songs on Claudine. Right. How oh. seven songs are going to be 20? What are you talking about? Bruh. What are you talking about, nigga? I'm telling you, Gladys got some hits. All she got to do is play that one. But Gladys got way more hits than Patty. No, okay, don't. so you going for Patty, you going for Gladys. Out of 20 songs, how many is each person getting for y'all? Man, listen, I can name some right now. Go ahead. He going to no, say, no, no, I need it, won't you? No, you got to say, I, like Button and be doing 12, 8, 11, 5, man, you know, whatever. I say it's going to be close. You want to be close? It's close. Gonna be Patty going to win by oh. three. Patty ain't going to never live in. Come on, man. Patty for the, for, for the grown women out there that know. She messed up. They are going to win by most. Ooh, She's so what's, what's the Gladys? Man. What's the Gladys track you going bro, for? Like, you neither one bitch, of us. Bro. What's the Gladys? I right, what's the push-ups. Who you going for? Patty or Gladys? Patty. Patty. What's the Patty? What's the Patty go to? Neither one of us. You didn't catch I just want you to know how I Remember that? I can't do it. I don't care what's coming up. Right. Find a way to get in. Get on me back. She can do Midnight Train in Georgia and kill her. Shut up. She's not. She gonna have the pips there? She can do the pips. Pips better not show. Pips gotta be there. Hugs and the hugs. You was alive? I was finna say. Kenny with the kissing. I know one of them died, didn't he? Yeah, her brother. That was my shit, too. Yeah, that was on Inkwell. I was saying Gladys. That was on Inkwell. That was on Inkwell. Come on. It really supposed to be Patty and Aretha. It's just in Chicago Bears on one and zero. Lost oh. chips on lions. Between the season, we will be picking up Aaron hey. Rodgers. <laughs> hey. And then we will go to the football hey, championship. Won. I don't know what y'all talking about. Aaron Rodgers is coming to us, though. Aaron Rodgers uh, beat y'all ass last time. He coming to the bed. Look, man, the, so only, white, the, the only white man that I trust, bro. Like, I still don't want to trust him. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> up tomorrow. Man. Aaron Rodgers says, fuck the Black Lives Matter. Right. What? He was the main He's one. We're like, no, let's no, I'm just saying. What a moment. If they popped up like. I'm waiting on punk ass Tom Brady to say something. He ain't say nothing. Yeah, that nigga ain't say nothing. He's in Tampa Bay with all the races. But I digress. I digress. Let's bring it back to music. Let's bring it back to music. So here's something interesting. Cardi B defends WAP sexual lyrics, but says she wouldn't want culture to listen to it. So that's true. Yeah, it is. I nothing wrong with that. She, You shouldn't want your daughter to listen to it. Yeah. Period. What I seen somebody say. But you let but you let your kids you let other people's kids listen to it. No, as a mother, you shouldn't play that around your fucking kids. Period. Or a father, whatever. No. You, know you shouldn't play that around for your kids, movies. period. Just because the song is out don't mean you gotta play it in front of her. Don't play it. That song is for adults, not children. But so how do you regulate that with so since people don't listen to yeah. radio anymore, what do, does Pandora and SoundCloud don't mm -hmm. stream certain things after before a certain time? Nigga, you know? No, they have settings on there. What do you put it on un unexpected? You have a setting that says next nigga when that shit comes <laughs> right. up. Right. There you go. Why is it simple? That's it. No, she ain't not gonna yeah, let culture yeah, listen yeah, to yeah, it. I mean, of course she's not. That, version, so, you know. that too. She's not gonna let culture listen to it. My daughter thirteen. Do I want her singing WAP? Hell no. She's not gonna sing WAP. I, it don't matter. She better not sing this shit around me. I don't know what she's singing. She, she better not sing. She better not sing around me. Oh, this is one. Let me I mean, I, 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 I don't see. You know, I think as parents, you just have to. It's a case by case thing, though. You know, some parents, I ain't gonna really. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Yeah. They're not gonna really trip off of a song being played. Yeah, what y'all, what y'all, what y'all doing? She's doing a lot of fun shway over here. Big money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some parents ain't gonna want, yeah, ain't gonna play that shit. Some will just let it rap. You know whatever. <laughs> you got the but part of the beat is the, is some hoes in the house. You got to beat about the whole song. Right, that's the thing. That's the thing. Come on, some hoes in the house. 
We grew up in that though. I don't care. Next, like RL. Shit. As soon as you see the name pop up, WAP. As soon as you see WAP. I know what this is. Let me change. I know where I know where that takes my mind. I saw Meg shaking it up good on Instagram and I was like, good God. You, so you saw what I said. I used to. Yeah, I'm going to bottom feed all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's so oh, it's, it's, it's it's just one woman in the room. That's that that's what you do. You by the powers of Grace go. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. The yeah. powers of Grace go. You got to go. Oh, you saw what she was in tour camp. Yeah. yeah. Y'all ass. So oh, niggas probably got videos like that on Instagram. So sophisticated. I ain't see nothing. <laughs> we look with all that, but I ain't. Huh. Seen. Mm-hmm. What you saying? Mm-hmm. You just said you'd be a bottom feeder. I ain't say that. He didn't say anything said, about that. I said, I said nothing. Don't be stroking your beard. No matter. No. Sorry. Okay. Get <laughs> association. It's a lot of energy in the room. Okay. Yeah, we know. <laughs> it's a nice day, man. It's it's a nice is, day. I know feeling low. good. We happy. I know, I know everybody gonna look at this. I like, watched early. Hey, I'm one today. But all right, so let's move on, man. So I just, I in. just finished this episode. <laughs> this was a long Joe Budden podcast episode. And he got to talking about some things, man. Did you finish this it? one recently? Yeah. No, I didn't finish it because I, I was like, I'll wait to listen to that work. So, okay. They've been saying it's a smear campaign going on right now. Of him, right? Of him, you know. It's rumored that he wanted about... Well, Andrew Schultz from Brilliant Idiots threw out this number. I don't know if it's true that they asked for this or not. But according to Andrew Schultz, they said that Joe Budden asked Spotify for about $250 million. How? He ain't worth it. He ain't worth it. Because you got the top show. He ain't now, Charlemagne. Seth Rogen, Charlemagne not Seth Rogen, shit. Joe Rogan just got $100 million. Bill uh, Simmons just got $200 million from Spotify. Oh, yeah. Right. So I wonder how much Spotify He's not even good at what he does. So, like, which Bill, one? Vince, Bill Simmons. Bill Simmons. Yeah. He's and that was, that was just for that network. So He just got the name. Yeah. Joe Budden. And I don't even like Bill Simmons because he killed me on 2K. Yeah, he be, he be talking shit. Talking man. dumb shit. So, fast forward, Joe Budden says the, he thinks this spear camp, campaign that's going on, smear, excuse me, is, uh, well, y- y'all heard about the Tahiri thing, right? Yeah, yeah. He was physically yeah. abusing him. So, she got paid. he feels like um, uh, Charlemagne is behind this. Or he kind of mm. allevi- alleviates to that. So, really? He went on like a diatribe for like 30 minutes about this and how he feels like Charlemagne is throwing slick shots, you know what I'm saying? But saying to him, yo, let's be mutual. Because I remember he said on the other episode, that's my brother, I'm not going to go there. And yeah. now he come and saying this. Yeah. Hmm. So Charlemagne just started a network as well with iHeartRadio, something to the effect of a black, it was some black network. But it's, so it's basically uh, um, about 20 podcasts. All of the podcasters are uh, black podcasters. So it's all black shows. Hmm. So... He just started that. So I want to get y'all thoughts on it, man. Do you think it's some believability to this number for one? And what would you think is an ideal number for the Joe Budden podcast, you know, if they were still at the negotiation table with Spotify? Well, <clears throat> I mean, it's uh, it's common knowledge that they are the – the front runner in the podcast game as far as the shows go on Spotify, they were like the, the spearhead. Right. So you use Joe Button to figure out the game of how this podcasting thing works. And right. And you, soon it, once you get a gist of it, you're like, okay, we got it. We're going to bring in some names that we can bring in that we know will do numbers. Uh, Amy Schumer, mm-hmm. Bill Simmons, uh, uh, whoever else. Yep. You're throwing 150, 200 million at these people, but the person that you learn all this shit from and how this shit works, mm-hmm. you're giving them below what you right. giving the name. So, uh, if 250 was the number, I think that's that's about right. That's what he I, should. I, I say the same thing too. But um, at the same token, Joe Budden don't have the name of Amy Schumer. Exactly. That's the only thing. And that's what I mean, but that matters. That's the only thing that matters. That matters. That's the fucked up part. I mean, that's unfortunately, that's unfortunately, it's a business, and that's how the yeah. business works. So, yeah. And ain't no telling what they gave Michelle Obama to put her podcast. Oh, right. You know what I'm five. saying? <laughs> five. So. Partnership. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, he. I think it's 
both sides have a point. Mm. You know, yeah, we we got the names, we got to pay those names. I wonder how much they to ask total names don't give. I don't know. He I, hasn't put out a number there. He said it was a, 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 a eight figure number, eight nine figure number, or something like that. So they making money like that? Do you paying people like that? Right. What the fuck is going on with us? Because you think about it, it's not like I rather, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'd rather hear from regular people than to hear from celebrities. I mean, yeah, you're not gonna get it. It's better unfiltered. It's like if you get an unfiltered basketball or sports, it's better to listen to because right. you hear from people who really feel like how we feel instead of people who's yeah, you kind would, of scared. Yeah, you would rather themselves. hear people that are passionate and right. Have, like, That's why I like all the smoke because they real. You know what I'm saying? Give me some real shit. Like but they still got pigs. celebrity though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <clears throat> like showing his pigs. Like it's real shit. I want to hear real stuff. Like I don't want to hear, you know. And, and and for me personally, right, like, as podcasters, I think about when we was over there at Logic, and we in there, we doing two, three hours. Two, three hours in there doing a, a podcast. And I would be looking at the numbers, and I ain't gonna front. Numbers would be good, but I'd be like, we should be so much higher because the takes, the originality, the, the professionalism was so much better than what I'm hearing from somebody that just because they got a name, you run into it. So that's like fast forward to now where we're here and we don't do it as long. That was my reasoning behind it because I'm like, we so invested, but these people, they're not running. If you go, if, if you have the chance to listen to Button or us first, who do you think they're going to first? You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's the challenge in it. So it's like, all right, how are we going to approach it? How are we going to build our fan base? And we have to come with the stuff we do come with, like that makes us different, makes us original. When we do the the movie shows, when we do the the, uh, the soundtracks, these Speaking type of things. Of, we, you know, we, we gotta start doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta start doing. We gotta keep it got. Yeah, cause we ain't been in a while. But um, you know, this is what makes us stand out. Oh, go ahead. I was. We should start putting our clips out. Uh, two, two three minute clips. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Part, absolutely. So the when I when I upload it to YouTube, we can just. Video, video record, 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 like the pull ups and stuff. Yes, it's way better. You get more more depth knowledge of something that you want to go on and do. Mm -hmm. And personally, I take Charlemagne over Joe Button any day. You know, I wouldn't. I do. I like I like the way Charlemagne gets in and gets to talking. I mean, of course, he's going to get more people because of who his name is and how he got in with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And of course, Joe Button was a rapper. You know, I love Murder Music. One, two, and three. Well, I, I think Joe Button's going to get yeah, he is. To get the real funny. So the real, like, really. You know, you make you feel like I can talk to you. Right. right. But Charlamagne I mean, make you feel like it's a change. I need to come to you. Well, no, I mean, because, name, dog, cause, okay, so you, you didn't like the Meek Mill or the Rick Ross one that he did? Hmm. I don't like interviews like that when they set up like that. Like, give me a real person. He had to go find Kanye. About something to do that. You know what I'm saying? Kanye do that shit on purpose. We know what he do. He knew where Kanye was at. Like, he do this goofy shit on purpose. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, in order for you to, you know, you, your content, you gotta, you gotta come with some type of, you know, something they're gonna remember you by, um, like, uh, on the show, they're gonna always like, oh, well, this person does this, this person does that. It gotta be, you know, you gotta have that pizzazz yeah. for them mm -hmm. to, to remember something about you. <clears throat> now, here's my thing. I probably favor Button over Charlemagne, but I do like Charlemagne as well. And Charlemagne does give people opportunities. It's a guy, um, a few years ago, I, we, we had him on show with his pigs. We was over there at Logic. And they were doing those Martin cards. Remember the Martin cards? Oh, yeah, I remember that episode. So I went to grammar school with that dude. Mm -hmm. I Like, it just shows you how small the world was. Come back around to it. Jason Gray. Went to school with him. And he got the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to present that card, that Martin uh, game to Charlemagne, and Charlemagne had them on Brilliant Idiots for like 15 minutes, but you got to make the most out of that, that time. Right. And then from there, they was able to, you know, expand. They did the different world cards. They got that uh, uh, Cards Against Humanity style game they got. I think they did Living Single too, you know, so they just made, you know, they were able to get people to invest. He even invested. Mm -hmm. So both of the guys are kind of like necessary evils to me. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't think it's a right or a wrong in this. I think it's just two different approaches, two different viewpoints. Button is looking at it from an entrepreneur standpoint, I think. What he's trying to do, I, I don't think it's necessarily been created just yet in terms of podcasting. Whereas with Charlemagne, he's coming with the radio approach to it by trying to partner and it's strength in numbers. You know what I'm saying? There's a guy that told me a long time ago when I was rapping, he said, your net worth is your network. I heard that way too many times. Yeah. <laughs> so if you you already know where I'm going with that then. So you know it's all about the people that you associating yourself with and the opportunities. Like I tell Nikki this sometimes, me and Hubby Arvin, you know, and I be telling the man, you gotta you got a, a hell of a network. And that's because she know people that, you know what I'm saying, that are accountants, lawyers, you know, people that's well off in, in, in good positions. Straight attorneys on you know so it's like what? that when you start rubbing shoulders with them people, I just it's you know, like I'm a broke one. Exactly, and that's how it's supposed to be, though. They, it's another saying that I'm sure you heard, because Big B on some deep shit. <laughs> they say, when you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot. You know what I mean? So, it's about mm -hmm. leveling up. So, that's just my little dab on it, you know? So, okay. do you think them guys got a deal somewhere? No, I think they're going to bring it back to this. I, I look at it like, like an artist, right? Because Joe Budden was an artist. Some artists, you need that major label machine behind you to introduce yourself to the world. Right. Like, I'll be honest with me personally. I only want this show to get signed so it can be magnified. Right. We, give, we build a bigger audience, and then once the deal is over, we go and do the shit independently again because we know how to uh, structure some shit, and we know how to push it out. We know how to promote it. Only thing that that would do for, would be giving gotcha. us more, a um, uh, bigger, you know what I'm saying, audience, a more set of eyes on us. That's all I really want. And then we can come back and do it independently because we'll know how to do it from there. You know, we've been made the network, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So your net worth can increase. We'll have those, you know what I'm saying, relationships where we can be like, yo, we need a sponsor for this. We need a sponsor for that. If they see if they want to partner with us and do this event, you know what I'm right. saying? That's all that's really missing from what we got here. But the sacrifice would be, yeah, we might have to go somewhere for two years if we get that opportunity. But you don't, just think, make the most you don't think that um, Charlemagne does that? Because Charlemagne made a lot of motherfuckers. That's what I'm saying. That's why I say I don't Charlemagne think it's a right or wrong. Think about it. Lil Duval wouldn't even be blown up like that. Absolutely. That's a good example. That's a good example. For, uh, for that's a good example. He definitely wouldn't be. I mean, he was always that dude with the, dr uh, the, 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 the dry dreads on BET on, um, <laughs> on, on, on Spring Bling. You know what I'm saying? After <laughs> messing around oh, with wow. these people's grandmamas and shit. The dry dreads. He did. You know, he was the shortest nigga in the room. But they were the guys that got together, they came up and they, they was on, mm -hmm. what was it, Guy Code on yep. MTV2? You know what I'm saying? Charlamagne was helping pull a lot of his people, you know, with mm -hmm. that. He got, um, what's his, my man's name? Uh, Tax Stone. You know, he just got caught up in that stuff with uh, the street shit, but he put him on. So, I don't really think it's a right or wrong in it. It's just basically, it come back to your approach and, and, and your beliefs and you just got to do ultimately what's best for you and what's best for the team. Exactly. Like what Tom Brady did? What was best for the team? Tom, Shut did, up. Tom <laughs> did what was best for Tom. He ain't did nothing with best for no damn team. What? Tom ain't had no say so in how to be with the quarterback. The Bucks and the Patriots. Look, so we own, we own uh, music, young lady. I know. We're going to talk about P. Gatto, NLE Chopper. I don't even know who the hell I don't is. know who the hell It's coming. Why do Tim always have like, I'm listening to because you didn't even listen to young, some of them young niggas. Well, none of them young niggas. Well, he was hating on your man's Travis Scott. Oh, Whoa! Oh. All right. Travis getting more money mm. than Drake because Drake ain't got McDonald's. Nothing, Drake ain't no legend. Yeah, no. Who said that? Look, Drake gonna have niggas eating dry ass Burger King. My niggas eating weed popcorn over there. Yeah. Talking about oh, yeah. 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 Travis Scott popcorn. Oh, real. So, so NLE <laughs> Chopper. I got that burger too. NLE Chopper is urging fans to put down the Travis Scott McDonald's burgers and go for a plant based diet. Hold on. You got that boy with them dreads like on the side? Yeah. What's her name? Was like uh, what's my girl? What's our girl name? Erica Badu. She was like, "Come on, home, young man." <laughs> you see, he out there in the, in the pond, like uh, like a fish, getting his spirit going. Something he doing? He doing mm -hmm. some like spiritual stuff. So I got two of his tweets. Saying, I got two of his tweets. I'ma say real quick. Oh yeah. He said, "Eat healthy, man. That food y'all eating can fuck with your mental too." That's true. I ain't eating burgers. That's absolutely though. true. I ain't eating absolutely. burgers to that nigga. Gang he been, he been, been he been saying some real yeah. shit lately. Yeah, he said he gonna stop making music about violence. Oh, uh, and only child. Yeah. Change the name. 
I mean, the next, it might be coming. Why be in is Corday now? Hey. And Corday has a, 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 a girlfriend. Championship woman. Yeah, so I would change YBN for my shit, too. Mm-hmm. What does uh, that mean again? Young, young baller nigga. Young baller nigga. Some shit. It'll be young black nigga shit. Either way it go. Young, young black, black nigga. nigga. I think, I think it, it's, it's one of them. He also said, put them Travis Scott burgers down. <laughs> go to the farmers. Uh, go to the farmers market. Go get some vegetables. Eat plant-based foods, period. I mean, I like, go with him with that, but like, it's a good message. It's like, I fam, you really didn't have to put that out because you should put that out every day. But that's also a clout move. Yeah, yeah. it is. Like, it's just like you should, dropping traffic. You should yeah. say that you know, every this day. Is for I'm popping right now. Let me go ahead and jump on the bandwagon and post that shit. Right, right. Yeah, right. Like, you didn't have to do that. You should say that every day. People stop. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. Because cause what he said is true. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I don't think you got to drag Travis into your life. Right. You know, people like the shit on people. I'm just crazy, man. I'm very upset that they don't like have the, a... Yeah. Huh? Uh, um, a toy with a damn meal. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, no, I'm just sitting amazed. <laughs> <on the toy. laughs> you saw the R-Truth one? You was looking for the, the I was looking for the toy. That's the only reason I wanted this shit, because I thought I was going to get a toy. So you know you could just with the Travis Scott happen. website, right? I'm not, I thought they were going to give us the little one that I saw. Yeah, you could have went to his website. No, not that one. Yes, bro. No, no, I'm talking about the one some Asian dude made, and he come with like a little burger. And a little <laughs> wow. not, the, not the little rodeo man. Okay. It's another no. one somebody made, and they said this was going to be in the... Hit the link on the, on the thing. Bro. Yeah, I seen it. I seen the ones he got. So all that shit sold out. All of the McDonald's, the Travis clothes, Scott the merchandise sold out. Always here. I don't even lie. I would have bought an Apple Pie shirt. I would have bought an Apple Pie All shirt. of it. <laughs> that shit was nice. I went I, I, I went past McDonald's the other day, and the line was around the month. I, I couldn't believe it. Which one was this? I was out, I was out, out, out west. I was out west. Well, so I was, like, right off the expressway. Well, I said, McDonald's around the crib. Yeah. That shit looked regular. You got a yeah, story. You got a story. <laughs> I got a story. <laughs> Look, bro, I went to McDonald's the, the other night. I said, let me get the Travis Scott. She was like, we don't have it. I said, there ain't nothing but a double quarter pounder with bacon. Y'all ain't got double quarter pounders available with bacon? No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said, I want the ice straight up. So then I was like, can I get a double quarter pound of cheese? <laughs> yeah, we got that. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> Put some bacon on that bitch. Man, I said, forget it. Man, I don't want to shit. Just pull the fuck out. I just pulled the fuck out. You don't got your McFlurry, man. That's just, I got the double shit out. That was bad. <laughs> I've been eating bad. I ain't been eating bad in a while. I'm a McFlurry person myself. I just can't stomach McDonald's no more. I go there for some fries and a drink, but that that's burger, it. That's, that's the only thing you can't really eat at McDonald's. I can't fries. stomach well, burger. Do, do they have a steak breakfast sandwich anymore? Or that shit I think they took that off. They still, still got it. They still got it? Yeah. Like, that's the only thing I was going for. I haven't had it in a while. Steak McMuffin. You know what? Yeah, yeah, you work from home, so you don't know nothing about the breakfast. I got a uh, steak in the refrigerator. <laughs> 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 Here. Well, wait a minute, who's seen the uh, Frank Lucas video? What Frank Lucas video? Come on, by about the way. Freddie, 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 Freddie got some new weed coming out. Freddie Gibbs? Yes. Why do you say Frank Lucas? That's the name of the video. I didn't see it. No. Oh man. I, I didn't see, see the video. I saw clips of it. They on the pole and shit. Let him. Oh, I didn't. I was going to watch it with Benny the Butcher, right? Yep. Okay. I've been playing that over. Hey, Griselda I'm just I'm killing shit, bro. I'm hey. telling you. Oof. Who? Griselda. In general, oh, bro. Oh, yeah. You can keep West All Side good. Man. All four of them. Shit. I like him. He's needed. Oh, needed. man. Certain niggas is Benny. needed. Benny. Conway. Armani looking good, you know. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sounding good. Oh, you, like, you like some of them old niggas? Who? Them? I can't, <laughs> I can't deal with them niggas. Them niggas I, is all. I ain't going to lie. Freddie Gibbs. 40. Right. Freddie Gibbs is my dude. How old is Freddie? Freddie up there. I think he's 42. Yeah. He's like 37. Yeah, he about my age. He like, he's like, he's like, I wish these mamas would have swallowed these nigga cap and ass dickers. I need to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch the video. I ain't seen the video. <laughs> I was on the floor. They got it in the caption too when he said <laughs> <laughs> I was on YouTube like, play that again? I gotta watch it. He's like, yeah, push your mama right. with a swallow, nigga. I said, oh, that's some Gary in the ass shit. He showed me. I'm definitely gonna say it to somebody. You say something crazy. <laughs> Get the whole ball with your mama with a no, swallow, nigga. Capping ass niggas. I gotta see that. <laughs> yeah. And Yeezy said, you was with So before rapping, before we move on to the, to the uh, movie <laughs> shit, I put a post up on Twitter and I said, is it too early to get Hit Boy producer of the year? I was thinking, I saw you tweet it. You did? I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> he is producing. And I tried to think, sit back, and I was like, all right, who else could I think of? Who's the only other person I landed on was Derringer. Like, I can't think of nobody else. 
Alchemist. Alchemist. Alchemist engaged. No, Alchemist only. The only reason why, because Alchemist only, I really only got like one thing from Alchemist. You got Alfredo what? and you got the Conway joint. Right. No, I'm talking like, about a little couple of tracks here and there. Yeah, but I'm right. talking about more. I think we get more from Hitboy. Hitboy though. Man, Hitboy. We get big shit. Al- we get albums from Hitboy. Shit, Hitboy doing yeah albums with people. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was like, saying if it. I if I had to pick who's at the top, it would be Hitboy, mm-hmm. Alchemist, and your your boy Danger. Yeah. Um, Nah, uh, light skin, Chicago nigga. Uh, Ooh. Young Bird. Hitmaker! Yeah. Hitmaker. What have you been doing this year? Hitmaker has been trying to last three years. Oh, no, I'm talking about this year. I'm trying to think. Like, what are you doing? Not Travis. Uh, um, he did the Trey Song. Top Dollar. Trey Songs. Because for real, did that? What's name B2? What? The Scissor and Tight Dollar Sign? Yeah, yeah, he did. I said, wow. I ain't even hear that they song. They got me. They said they got the Neptunes back for Scissor, boy. Dun, dun. Some cool shit. But yeah, man, I, I had to sit there and think about that. It. I'm like, cause then Dom, then Dom Kennedy do the joint with Hit Boy too. Yeah, that's what I said. It, it, that album, Nas album. He got Benny this, coming. Benny finna come. Then he got the uh, he did he did a handful of them on a uh, Big Sean project, and then he got the song on Conway, mm-hmm. and he got the Benny project. So man, you should have had this chilling. roll out eight years ago though. Like Watch the Throne came out. Yeah, cause right. he was like he was he he went and tried to do his own shit. And I think that's when it kind of fucked up from him because he brought his daddy out of jail. His daddy started rapping. Mm-hmm. He put all his niggas on, but niggas wasn't. Yeah, he, was so like with, he was fucking right. with the Watch the Throne shit. He I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, he, he left from that and went to try to do his own shit, and I think that's where it fucked him yeah, up. He fucked up. And then I he think, came back, so I'm just start fucking with people. Yeah. And bam. I think out. he would have did one with Nip if Nip didn't get killed. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he would have did a nice album. Cause he did that racks in the middle, and I was that. I'm like, okay, I wonder if they gonna fin the team up real quick and drop something. He would have did a nice album. Hit boy, hit boy. Yeah, hit boy is. Uh, I mean, not to oppose you, that hit boy is nope. definitely number one. Yeah. For this year, so he got that sound. It's, no, it made me think. So. It ain't even a sound like that shit. It don't sound the same. None of the songs. None of it. Yeah, and that's the, the, the right. diversity of them, of the production. I gotta mm-hmm. listen to the rest of that one we had with Dom Kennedy and. I haven't listened Dom to Dom just didn't fit with him. I don't think so. You didn't like it? No. I love it. If Dom, I like how Dom was on Black Bentley's and that kind of sound because he... he Dom, Dom fit with Cardo to me. Mm-hmm. He do fit did. better with Cardo. Yeah. But I like that album with them too. You know, what I mean, it ain't nobody paying attention to him. You know what I said? You know, OPM, man. Oh, he got some shit coming. Is it? Oh, other people doing it. He got some shit coming. Mm. Is it? Let me get my chance. Them two niggas is finna take over. Who? I think. Uh, Cause remember Don did the game album, which was nice. He produced the game's album. Yeah. Well, that's Timboy right there. And uh, name drop it ass nigga. I think him and his wall was kind of on the producer side, working with each other. Is he Don? Don and Hitboy. And he said he got some shit coming, so we gonna see. Right, gonna see, man. In LA, it's something. Hitboy for president. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, let's go into Candyman. And keep that. I don't even go into that shit, man. I'm Thank you. I'm, I'm it's been, happy. It's been happy. delayed again. again. It's disappointed. It is, man. They first off, they killed. They killed off Mike. They 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 said, "Yo, y'all getting Halloween next year." All right, cool, whatever. But we're gonna get y'all candy, man. And here we go. Getting closer and closer to October. Universal uh, Pictures, which is who distributes uh, Candy Man. They said, yo, we're going to push this back to 2021. Ain't no mirror in here. It don't matter, nigga. (laughs) They do say it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad this little fake-ass plantation shit ain't coming out. I want to see that shit about this black man. (laughs) So they're fucking up this white bitch. (laughs) And this white bitch got him set up. This shit happened all the time. (laughs) She did not get him set up. Yes, he did. This nigga was a slave, folks. Let's keep on it. Let's be he honest. He was a slave, but she... We gonna go back to the real... She went to the, his his barn. He didn't go you get out. You know that. Othello, right? Yeah, yeah, I know it's Othello. That's all. This is all. This is all. This is all, this is all yeah. Othello was some beats. And ain't nobody trying to do that. Y'all didn't... <laughs> when the last time y'all been in the projects? Because I was in the projects that hey, nigga was here. Shit, ain't no projects. No yes, more. it is. It's the Hillis... Well, I'd have been no prize that's, yet. That's not the Cabrera degree. That's no. what I was at. That's gone. Where'd you look for candy, man? Shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> But we don't even have an actual funny, release though. release date now, so it's just it's twenty twenty. It's just twenty twenty one. But out. what about that movie that what's her name got coming out? Who? Uh, oh, Anima De Bal and Antebellum. Yeah, ain't that out already? No, it's coming out this this weekend. This weekend. This weekend? Okay. I think this weekend. Oh shit! I gotta order. VOD. Yeah. All right. 
There's another movie that was supposed to be coming out soon that also got delayed, but it has a release date, and that is Wonder Woman 1984. So it was coming out in October, I think. Now it's coming out on Christmas Day. I thought that was the original date anyway. I thought it was. Too. So I think they pushed it up, and then they moved it back because of COVID, and then we got a, a solid release date, and now they're saying Christmas. Again. I think it's going to be at home on Christmas. Yeah, they, they smart. They should do a VOD. But right. That's what I would do. Did you hear about Charles? It's the new Chucky that's coming out. The cartoon, not, not he doing. cartoon. The, the TV, TV show? show? No, it's a movie. So Some he's Spanish the real brothers. guy doing the TV show, right? Yeah, the real guy doing the TV show. Some Spanish brothers got it. It's, what's his name? Tim Bizzo or something like that? Uh -huh. They directed it, but it's, it's called Charles. And it's about two couples. I mean, a couple live moving into a place in Spanish style. You said it's made by Mexican? Spanish, yeah. You can call it Carlos. That motherfucker name is Charles. Carlito. That motherfucker name is Charles. Carlos. Mira. <laughs> it's it's kind of like it, I guess, because they said they moved in, but they didn't put the mom and son. They said two couples moved into an apartment, they found his down. I'm trying and to do like with the original one. Like, no, the original one was what? But he bought the time. Somebody, no, somebody he, was. The black dude gave him a voodoo spell for Right, him. yeah. Yeah. And he went into the, when the police was looking for him, he put himself went into the, the toy store. Yeah. So how did he get to Mexico? It was black voodoo. Yeah. Carlos. Yeah. 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 But don't they got a deal? Like a some Mexican voodoo now. Ain't something going on with Mexican have voodoo? Yeah, yeah, like they uh, the Jason thing. Yeah, what you they, mean? They, Remember how you talking about Jason thing? The, the, the way he's owned and I didn't know that. Somebody oh, no, no, no. So what's going yeah, on, it's a lot of stuff going on with their Child's Play uh, franchise because they got a TV show coming out, which is the TV show called, yeah. it, I think it's called Chucky. I think, I don't even know. And then there's this, this what you're talking about, right. the movie. So they're doing a whole nother movie. And then they just had that movie last year that right. bombed. That shit was atrocious. I couldn't even get through it. I, I watched about 20 minutes of it. Really Put my boy up in there. Paperboy, you shouldn't have took it. Paperboy's trying to get his money up. Yeah, where he, where he on the high? They, they, Ain't shit going that on? got pushed back too, Atlanta. I didn't put it on the docket, but it's pushed back because of the COVID. They can't stop him. I thought they did it. They don't know how to film. They just was. They don't know how to film stuff right now. Uh, so you already know insecure and all that stuff gonna be back. Plus they they keep getting work. Like all these guys are still, you know what I'm saying, working out here. The Keith got a movie coming out on Netflix, so these guys are working. That's uh, crazy. And Brian Tyree, he got the the, the uh, what you call it, the Marvel shit. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, Eternals. So, right, he in that. Yeah, he mm -hmm. sure is in that. Why they got he, he a real paper boy to be here? Right, but he is. They say he did a movie uh, uh, as a trainee before. I don't trans, remember that movie. I've been watching. Trans, trans, trans. Oh, excuse me. Trans, yeah, trans, trans. Trans. Well, no what smoke. Was he was in Holiday Heart or some shit? Hell no, they said he did a movie too, because I seen he had a shirt on. Tell me what he told me. I think he did a movie with that. Charles! It was like some Holiday Heart shit, though. I don't remember that. Wanda? Get out of here. Matter of fact, it's on Hulu. It is. It's on Hulu. Let yeah. me see. I'm gonna look it up. All right. While he looking it up, I don't want to see that shit. I don't know if y'all got into Doom Patrol. Progress. I was watching it, mm -hmm. but then I kind of stopped. Yeah. I so it's kind of wacky. That's yeah, it's kind of like it's too much going on in yeah. Doom Patrol. Like, Umbrella like Academy Doom, had too much. Yeah. Yep. But it Can was no. It's on HBO, HBO Max. It's on HBO Max. Now. You got HBO Max or HBO? So they some prime for you. You get that that seven that seven day trial. No, it's a man or Shanna. <laughs> no, because they finna take it off the DC. Yeah, they ain't got it no more. They finna take it off the DC. They put everything on HBO Max. So on HBO Max, they done renewed it for a third season, and they taking it off of the DC app. So that's gonna be gone. I'm gonna watch it again, but it it, it really throws me off. Like, what the fuck is going? on? I told it's you, insane. I just I just committed to it because I had got into it. So it was just like, all right, Swamp Thing was good. I hope well, they bring that Swamp out, Thing. I, that's what I want to see. Yeah. I want to see Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing was decent. So all right, all right. So we're going to talk about something Nikki know, because Nikki's sitting here like, I don't know about none of this shit. I ain't so. going to lie. I ain't been watching nothing. I, I watched, the only thing I watched this weekend was Girlfriends, because they put it right back on it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, I said, really? It was really a lot of stuff on there on Girlfriends mm -hmm. that was pertaining to now. Mm -hmm. Like when Joan was trying to become partner and the Me Too movement was, was, was going on then, now it's here now. Mm -hmm. Or about when well, wait, what you mean? Joan was the only woman in that room full of men. With her, she was a what was she? She's a lawyer. A lawyer yeah. Yeah, yeah, think about that. You know, and then that's true. There was a lot of moments where William was throwing and saying some stuff about black, how black, like the one time when he bought uh, Yvonne mm -hmm. the house, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Damn, you bogus! Why would you buy her a house without her consent?" He said, name how many times a black man bought a, a, a black woman a house. 
Right. Don't worry, I'll wait. Right. I see no lines there. I said, man, and then look, they was like, well, how would you, you know, then Maya was like, she's like, let me go sit down because Darnell ain't buying shit. And then, then she got the <laughs> And then another one was when Darnell called Joan a bitch to her face at her damn work party. Excuse me, but he would have got the 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 baggage handler slap the fuck up out of him. <laughs> I'm like, I was watching the last, I've been watching it all night or whatever until this morning. I said, man, they was really talking about some stuff, the relationships or whatever. So what's going on now? Yeah. yeah, so what's going on now? Like they talked about, she's like, why do I got to work on Martin Luther King birthday? Right. Ain't that a national holiday? Right. Dude's like, I don't care. Oh, you had to be with your peeps? I would have been like, all right, y'all just cut, 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 cut. Hey, <laughs> that's true, though, because Martin Luther King birthday, we, we don't have that off at our job. Uh, we can always. take it off, yeah. but, we got, but it's not. No, we got President's Day off? Yeah. No. Right. no, no, or is it Lincoln birthday? We got one of them. We got, one of them. We got Lincoln birthday. You, you, you got every birthday off. Every holiday, because you was garbage, man. I ain't got doing that dark Love you. Now. No, because no. they, they make that option on that. They, no. they don't. He's a garbage man. No, I know, but I think. No, no, I'm no, just saying, I not for his job. No, y'all don't, bro. I, don't, I know. I know no, no, we don't. You're right. You're right. Every Monday. Yeah, I'm going But it's still messed up for anybody else. But you got to use a PTO day. Yeah. For Dr. King? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Julie. All right, so that was that was a good segue. Some of these places recognizing that everybody ain't there. They ain't ready for it. I'm going to let you know. We're going to segue. In the Big B's main man, Fresh Prince of Bel Air celebrating their thirtieth anniversary. That's also gonna be on HBO Max. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's gonna be an unscripted special, and we are gonna also see Will sit down with the original Unveil, and yeah. they are gonna have a conversation. The first yeah, conversation they've had together in over twenty-seven years. She looked terrible. Did she? Yeah, look at her. Her or the old? The she ugly, light skin. I'm, I'm, light skin Unveil looking old, old. Light skin on Vila. Dark skin on Vila don't bad. No, Damn. she don't. She great. She's still looking like I'm Vila. With that bad wig. <laughs> she got like, that, why you hang on? She got a wig. She got the, like, Michael Jackson wig. No, she don't. Big on. Ain't so, was there any, ever any confirmation of why? Because, I mean, I heard it was that she had an ego and forgot it was his show. And that's why he got her out, out of there. Well, she wanted more money or something. She wanted more money. How? And she, have, she was good on the show. Nikki, I ain't never said she Because you came front on Aunt Viv. Aunt Viv definitely brought her, the she original was the, Aunt Viv. Was she the brought some flavor show. to the show. Aunt Viv, she definitely did. Aunt Viv was in there cussing their asses out. And I liked that on that. Like seeing Aunt Viv, she was ready for him to retire and do all this other extra stuff. No, you can't be like that. And the original Aunt Viv was getting the ass. Remember when, uh, <laughs> when the fuck, when she was with her sister's hustle. Yeah, man. Like, you know, I watch that in Martin every morning. You know, wait. I hate this. It's about, bro. Did this nigga just throw an interception? You cannot stop in mid sentence and, 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 and <laughs> react to the football game. Because I got money online. Look, man, I do too, but I, I just lost some money. But we're going to keep it going. They also going to put some fresh, new, uh, fresh, pre ah, fresh prints gear out to commemorate the 30th anniversary. So, Pete, go ahead and get you some of that. that uh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to get one of the movies. And they're going to have, yeah. it's going to be a collaboration between Will, DJ Jazzy Jeff, and the, them. So, he, they're going to actually yeah. did you, I don't know if I'll wait till you finish it if you got it on there. What? It's a fashion thing with Martin. He got a Martin store. But see, really? yeah. what about I the, no now store. what about the black guy here in Chicago? Shout out to Chicago Black Ground. Playground, I'm going to say, let me get it correct. He's been putting out their stuff. What? If you go on Chicago Playground, he been he made the Martin jacket that Gina and Pam wore on Soul Train, and he did the Fresh Prince. Uh, thing. Is it licensed? Right. right. He's That's he's been thing. asking you like, man, if it's possible, I could help y'all. I want to do these collaborations. Man, athletics is licensed. Licensed. So right. it, it's different. I'm just saying. The boy you get a nigga that got the print press. You can't yeah. like, no. go to him. <laughs> no. You can either go to him instead of Will he, Smith. Like, 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 that's going to be cheaper with him. You know what I'm saying? But, but he's, he's not the he's original. Been, what I'm saying is he's been put this stuff out. And he got flown to L.A. Mm -hmm. to put those jackets on Gina and Pam. Oh, and if he did, then yeah. He, he that's what I'm saying. Like, like, he been asking. He said it. In, if you go, but you got to follow the guy. Ain't no asking. You got to go get you an agent and have the agent handle that. If he, if they hired him to do it, and they wore it, particularly Gina and Pam, Soul Train. now you got legal claim to originality because he can come and say, yeah, no, this is my original design. It's based off that. It was a public show. So that that's, that's 
that can get that can get big if it, it that can get real deep if it get big. Yeah. Cause he asked, he was like, man, it'd be great if I could do us. We could do a Martin store, right? And then I saw that, so I said, ain't that about a cracker in a damn well, got his own suit? Store. That's what he was saying. He wanted to do a Martin store with Martin. With Martin. Oh. Ain't that? I said, ain't that a cracker in a suit? The, the cracker in right, the first time niggas from stole ideas, so right. exactly. they exactly. stole land, so you know they gonna keep it moving. All right, man. Did y'all watch this Doom trailer? Cause this looked like it's supposed to be the next super big blockbuster. Oh uh, no, I didn't know it was going to come out. Yeah, That's all. who in it? Zendaya. Mm. Who I'm saying? Hey, huh? Who Doom? Uh, it's, it's a new guy. It's 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 a it was a movie. It's a, so this is the, they bringing it back. It's a reboot. Why the nigga pointing at me? Cause this that shit bad. You know what I'm saying? So she said he was chewing on ice, bro. <laughs> but uh, I don't know who this main guy is. Uh, Timothy Calumet. He's gonna be like the main guy in the movie. Uh, Rebecca Ferguson from Mission Impossible Fallout is in it. Oscar Isaac. From Star Wars, Josh Brolin. We Ooh, know who I Josh Brolin is, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that's right. Stellan Skarsgård uh, from Thor. Batista's in it. Uh, it's got an all star cast, man. That's crazy. Um, that's gonna be nice, man. Yeah. It's funny that he the, he the one that became something out of the goons. Josh Brolin. I mean, my man did uh, Rudy, you know. He, he fell off the world, and then he went. He, next time you saw him was Stranger Things. And then, uh, no, you saw him in Adam Sandler movie. Was he in Adam Sandler? He's on the, the click one. Ah. And then you saw him in Stranger Things. I mean, think about it. Josh Brolin's dad. He's who? Josh Brolin. His father. You know what I'm saying? You know. What are you talking about? You said was, he's the only one out of the Goonies that's doing it. Yeah, but who was his father? Josh Brolin wasn't the father in the Goonies. He was the yep. older brother. He's the older brother. No, I'm talking. This is what I'm saying. You said, man, he wouldn't be shit without his dad. No, I didn't say that. I'm telling you, you that. You said that. That's what oh. I'm saying, right? Well, who was his daddy? That's what his I'm daddy saying. played in the original Amityville Horror. That was his daddy? Yeah. I didn't hey, know that. That's why I asked you, didn't you? Hey, man. No. These niggas watch, scary, down, these man. These niggas watch scary movies. That's the worst I movie ever. I didn't know that was his father. That was a scary movie. <laughs> That's the worst movie ever. <laughs> that was a scary yes, movie. Yes, that and The Exorcist. They bring it back Exorcist, too. Man, they keep all that bullshit. 2021, baby. Why? I don't know. They supposed to look scary as shit, though. I got you. Let me see. And she throwing down GV. Oh, <laughs> All right, man. So let's go and get into sports, man. Bron, Bron dominated last night. Los Angeles Lakers are going to the Western Conference Finals yeah, against the Denver Nuggets. Oh. <laughs> Is they three three now? Yeah, this, 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 uh, they went, they came from three one to three three. It's one to go home. You know, you shouldn't even deserve to go to the next the next game. Just like oh, uh, the Houston, they didn't deserve to go against. So now you got Miami versus uh, uh, versus Boston. Yeah, Miami versus Boston. Ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough. That's, that's, that's tomorrow's be, that's tomorrow's be, game. That's gonna be good. Eastern Conference Finals. All right. So I I, I don't know, man. I, I wasn't expecting Houston to just go down like that. I was thinking maybe he was gonna get at least one more game, but it happened. You got Dan Tony calling the shots. You know he is gone. They he, no, he said he's done. He said I don't want to play no more. Well, coaching no more. Been coaching them for some years, doing the same dumb shit. Doing that shit when he was in Phoenix. Exactly, same dumb shit. Trying to outscore my brothers. Right, instead of can't playing play, ball. Can't, play, can't just shoot and not play defense. Right, right. right. I can shoot and go down the court and wait to yeah. get the ball again. <laughs> That's fun. Then when it comes to defense, they all lost like that. Super late. So, can people still say the Clippers are a better team than the Lakers? Nope. Man, LeBron I mean, can't do shit we'll without We'll find out if they make it to the next series. LeBron can't do nothing without a stacked up team. Let's be honest. Kawhi got a stacked up team. Kawhi, what? I mean, they team deep, way deeper than the Lakers. Nobody does. They team way better than the Lakers. You got Paul George, who's supposed to be this certain type of player. You got LeBron. You really got AD, but you got Paul George. You got a great defensive Pat Bev. You got six man, two six mans of the year, Harold and Lou Williams. Mm-hmm. You got the one of the twins. I think that was the good twin that could that could really play. play they got Mark. Who is Marquis? I really can't. No, I can't Marcus, tell which one. Marcus, is. but I can't tell them apart. Right, I can't tell. But one of them wrong. They're the switching headbands. And uh, who else you got? <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I, don't, I don't. And that big white boy in them. I don't get this Boom, notion yeah. that somebody should be able to win someone out of the team. When when has that ever happened? Well, Nobody team. Right. Right. Nobody won a team. Right. Team. Right. You need a team. It's a team so sport. They just not playing like a good team. They were playing like a good team. We finna yeah. come back. These yeah, niggas get lost. They playing team ball, boy. Yeah. 
And that's what I've been seeing. That's what I've been liking the playoff. Other than looking at LeBron, I ain't really looking. They not playing team ball still. They just they them two play, big niggas, right? They, they playing play, but play he, ball. Celtics, oh, ball. he Celtics, Toronto, everybody, damn near everybody that's else team ball. playing. That's team ball. That's, team ball. And that's how that basketball should be played, like for real. Rest LeBron and Clippers, I don't know what the fuck they doing. Yeah, I mean, you're always going to have your lead guys, mm -hmm. and then you have your, your other guys that fill in. You know, no. That's how it's supposed to be. And I like to watch basketball when it's like that, when you yeah. get these type of upsets. Like, nobody saw that happening with the Bucks and the, uh, At all. the Heat. You know what I'm saying? But it did, and it's, you get that upset. I, I thought we was going to get upset like that with the Lakers and uh, the Rockets at first, but... You know, it's I just because they was, came out the gate swinging. They would have went. They would have had that. harder with yeah. Oklahoma. Yeah, because you had big niggas on the team. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It wasn't no small ass team. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, you can win like with the with the big three and then your lead guys, but also if your leader of your team can instill his mentality into the rest of the team, then mm -hmm. you got a great mm -hmm. chance. And that's what Jimmy Butler is doing. He's yeah. putting his mentality into them young motherfuckers, and they hooping. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. That Tyler Hero is insane. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right, so let's talk about this Poopa Scuba scandal. What? what? Poopa Scuba. <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. Oh, I'm like, what? Are we surprised? I'm not, because he's been doing some questionable shit for I'm going to do like my man. I can't did. remember his name, but the comedian. He said, first of all, I don't believe what shit she's saying. Cause Odell don't even be with women. What is she talking about? Like, Cause he always called Odell gay. So it was funny as hell. And why would he pick you? You Chief Key, baby mama, like. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah. Sure. I mean, if he do like it, I'm oh, not surprised. Sure. A lot of people like shit. <laughs> well, like different shit. Oh, oh, wait, what, 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 eating shit? No, I don't know. If she wait, said wait, she, wait, she, what she, she said. She said she shit on. She shit oh. on. Cause I know niggas is that. This niggas probably oh, no, on that. Got this he might be one of them niggas. Count of some chick I dip, and she confirmed it with this other chick. I'm sitting here just listening to this whole conversation. Why am I not surprised he knows somebody in that shit? I don't know. No, I do not I don't know. Too. I just know I'm going to know the scenario. Like I know somebody. But don't surprise me, bro. The chicks like, were doing it. They was, and, and it was funny because the girl was like, <laughs> she's like, he did I ask you something? Did he ask you to do anything strange? And she's like, what, eat some shit? Like, he won't eat your shit? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, wow. the fuck I'm like, is this, on now? These two chicks is fucking with this Spitting in the mouth just ain't enough. Ain't, you gotta, ain't, they got to go a step further. God damn. So, damn. I can believe it. Be stupid. Nigga, I didn't answer that. I thought that was extreme. Spitting in the mouth. Uh, I'm like going that, beyond now. I thought he was spitting in her mouth. But that's why I can't I was sitting there like, fuck <laughs> She's spending yours, like oh, big news. <laughs> oh, Drew is. Oh, Drew. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drew talking about him, man. No, Drew said it on the show. He said it on the show. Oh, he said it on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with Drew with that though. No, he uh, said it on the show. Well, Tim, though, oh. you say you with that? Wow. Yeah. Tim, you know. I mean, oh, I know, but you, are, but uh, I. So you letting him spend your mouth? Yeah. Oh my God. He, you a nasty nigga. I'm gonna butt him up. Here's my. What does that do? Right. What do y'all get out of that? Nasty. Come here, it's, it's an adrenaline. Hell, it's an adrenaline really? for me. Everybody ain't the same. <laughs> Everybody ain't the same. What was to say? Hit him up with adrenaline. That's my thing. If you kiss, like that's a, that's a similar experience. And if you right. like really sloppy kiss and tour right. kiss and be like, that's what I'm saying. It is not like a, sometimes, like a nigga can be like, I like my nipples late. You know, I, that's I, his I, thing, I and it, it makes him better. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. That's just everybody's thing. That's to me, that's just an extreme. He got real time down there. To me, I thought it was on porno shit. I'm like, that's like some old ass porno shit. Old ass. He was like, nah, you gotta do that. Nigga, you watch porn since the 70s. No, no, no. He was like, I said this. He was like, his body had like a. Nah. Bobby Trump. He said, Bobby Trump. You can't do that with everybody. You can't be letting any. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. COVID 19, niggas? Oh, we don't fucking fuck about that with the fucking. Yeah, you should have been Ain't nobody been fucking with a mask. They just porn on us. Somebody has. <laughs> this shit is like a. I seen one on somebody. Uh, so this is an adrenaline rush. Yeah. Uh uh. Well, that's down. Yeah, that's so she just, I can get my own adrenaline going, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, are you. Are, do you spend hers too? Yeah. Or? So she like it too? Yeah. Okay. All right. Like, whatever I do. We'll leave the rest of that for late night. Okay? Hell no. Man, I ain't going to go with that. I ain't going to have my nigga hot. Hold on. Why ain't nobody doing all that? Hey, I done seen a nigga do it. Man, we ain't like we doing it. Oh, man. Wait, I got this cold. I got to get out of my mouth. Uh, we ain't <laughs> I don't know. 
smoking. You talking about speaking like, you doing all. No, we got to make it sexy. Ain't no smoke sexy. You sitting over here. Right, like they spitting flim in your mouth. Right, come on, man. You making it disgusting. No, that's what the fuck you doing. I didn't say that. You doing it all like this. I didn't say I want to pop it back. What if your mouth was dry, though? Like, you know, they better. Just wait, goddammit. If she already spitting on the floor, you better get your ass up. What? If she's already swallowing, then why the fuck that she come swallowing? Later. No, huh? that come later. That come later. That's that's what we do. I'm just gonna well, paint the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's on late night. All right, all right come on, take it the next one. Freaky Friday. First of all, this man is saying they're going to listen to Glass. 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 <laughs> Mashing the shows up and shit. Hey, she said, get him with the kiss. So Jalen Rose was out on the hot seat. It was a rumor that he was about to get fired because he brought that up on uh, TV about Odell. It's like Jalen don't never do shit. And now it's like he do something that's this little. I heard he had like a DUI and shit. So. For real? Oh, they went deep couple, didn't they? Damn. So Jalen. I don't think they should fire him for. You got the crispy fade. You do not want to lose that money. Right. You know, because if you, yeah. if you get fired, fired, you don't man. need it. You don't need it. Best fade in the game. But what he and say? They, How did he say it though? Oh, they Obell getting shit on? Or he was like, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't like, see it. They got it. Was, bro, he, they were they were talking on air and it was transitioning to commercial. You right. know how they had like B roll or somebody walking in. Right. And you could still hear him talking. He was like, Hey, y'all heard about Odell Beckham? And then it just went off. Oh. So he didn't say nothing bad. He didn't say, oh, he right. didn't shit at all. He was like, y'all heard about Odell? But right. so why you motherfuckers gonna... know what he meant. I know, but it's like, why would you fire him for that? I don't know. Like, that's fucking I didn't even know. I thought he, he said, Odell got I shit on I didn't even know it was a thing until this morning. So. Right. Oh, okay. I ain't know until right now. <laughs> and I heard Skip Bayless is on IC, too. Yeah. Cool. So he gets shit on Dak Prescott. Yeah. Uh, his brother committed suicide, and uh, Skip was like, basically, oh, you can't let that affect you. You got to, you know, you're the leader of that team. You have to stay focused. That's why. I, that's why I, he said something else, too. I said, to y'all. So I said, I don't listen to niggas who don't play sports. Yeah. You don't know how them people feeling, man. You yeah. even say some shit like that? That boy gonna That was super insensitive too. All right, like, no, that was wild as hell. I think it was Jalen Rose who checked him on that shit. He probably he? did. He was like, yeah, you when you played in high school, you did. Right, you play. scored one point. Yeah, you want to score on a bench, right? Yeah. So yeah, you don't know about some shit. Like, that is crazy. He said that shit about his brother. Yeah. Well, the situation. Wow. That's, that's, I don't know what's that's, going on with him. That's a lot. That's crazy. All right. But in the tennis world, Naomi Osaka, did I say her last name right? Mm. Yeah, I think you said it right. She submitted her status as a leader on and off mm. the court with this 2020 U.S. Open win. The champ is here. A second time in three years and third three. overall. Oh, three God. times. Let's go. The champ is And Did you see every seven match? All the seven matches, she will uh, something for uh, the lives that's been taken away from her. She had uh, Tamir Rice mask. Philando Castillo mask, George Floyd mask, uh, Trayvon Martin mask, uh, Ahmaud Aubrey, Elijah McCain, Breonna Taylor, all the masks she wore. Awesome. Each match. Awesome. And then they asked her a question and she checked the shit out of it. How do you feel about it? Right, she said, you know, about social media. We need to <clears> bring <throat> up. I'm not mistaken, five years her English was fucked up. It was? She got with you, now she over there, gang member. Yeah, Corbett ain't even <laughs> on that type of stuff, Nikki. No, I'm well, saying he, he probably got is, her open more to yeah. what's going on because, dude, if you listen to his album and what he be talking about, the young man is is another uh, J Cole. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, but he is J Cole. I already knew that. You know, what I'm saying that J Cole, that was, right? That was my album of the year last year. Yeah, well, yeah, sure well, yeah. over. Or whoever you name, Freddie Freddy Gibbs. Nicki had Freddie Gibbs. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I did not brand it for that at all. I, I did not brand it for that. I like that album. I ain't gonna lie. I that was a good it. album. Sipping on this cognac. <laughs> I love, I love Freddie. Well, yeah, man. Shout out to Naomi getting it done. That's she you know, cold. Man. On. She is cold. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. Shit. I was saying something Serena about uh, Serena. Yeah, yeah. I see. I think it's time for her and Venus to go ahead. Get the tennis academy started. Yeah. Get the next crop of young black African American mm -hmm. yeah. kids. You know, round two. Cause y'all are legends. And 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 and, and yeah. get it. Keep keep us consistent. Did, so, did you see ever have a shoe? A tennis shoe? Who? Uh, Serena. Serena. Yeah. She had a Jordan that came out not too long ago. She did one night. But she was bending the Nike. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was just yeah. wondering. I didn't know if they. Had I think they just did like a collab with her for Jordan. But yeah. But yeah. She been with Nike. 
Go ahead and set up the academy on Crenshaw. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Put it right there good, in the hood. Good job. Hey, right, man. Well, that's all I had. Choose wisely. Had something she wanted to talk about. What was that? With the stimulus money and all that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You see that the... the uh... So, what they were saying about the stimulus checks, you know, my two cents, that they did not want to give the stimulus packages to the black community. Now, if you got, like, on Google News, I get that in the transportation world a lot. Mm -hmm. So, they're like, well, we're feeling that the black community don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. I said, well, isn't that where predominantly most of the crime mm have -hmm. right? You know, so it was that. He's getting ready. There's a lot of stuff that's getting ready to happen. Who's saying that? This is what Congress or is speculating, you know, let me get my facts all the way on. Speaking of, man. If they don't happen, they might as well initiate the, the race war themselves. If, if they get everybody yeah. the money but the black community, oh, yeah. it's, it's a wrap. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a wrap. It's really a wrap. Man. But since we're just leaving sports, shit. I wanted to uh, say the uh, ex-Bears receiver, uh, I think his name was Walt Bellamy. Oh, my goodness. This is the oh, dumbest. You know, with the fun, uh, yeah, he just got hammed up for that shit. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he did the 10K. He got, yeah, he did the long, he did the 10K, but he tried. He got like 1.2 million. Yeah. And they audited his ass. It's Rap City. Well, let's just be honest here. You know what I'm saying? You get that money, you got to understand. Not my bad. You <clears throat> got to understand. They are monitoring that fucking money. Yeah. If you go to Gucci with that account that that money is in, guess what? On your ass like white on rice. But that's not what the money was supposed to be for. Now let me be honest out here. You know, a bunch of us got that damn money. You know what I'm saying? And the grant you don't pay back. Let's get that clear. You do not pay back the grant. It's just like a grant if you was a, a pale grant if you was in college. Because I never got a pale grant. So, you know what I'm saying? The if you took out the loan, that's what they're monitoring how you're doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because the loan has to be paid back within the same year that you took it. You know what I'm so saying? So it is a loan. It, there's two. But then he took out, see, we need to get our facts together. He took out the PPP loan, mm -hmm. which is what everybody's getting in trouble for, mm -hmm. which is the pr protection payroll plan. Mm -hmm. He's saying he had so many amount of employees. Well, but it all went to one account. Right, it went to one account. Fool, you should have broke that up. Yeah. As soon as that money came through, you should have called me, and we would have broke it down. Just like we. Um, I'm just saying. <laughs> just you like can't, we. You can't, Every two weeks should have been going into, you know what I'm saying? You should have had more than one account. How am that, that we're broke and I got several accounts? You know what I'm saying? And then also Trump's um, unemployment program pays, pays up to 1800 in extra benefits to workers who qualify. I don't know how that's true because I know people that's on unemployment that's bringing home more money than me and you. And that's a damn shame. Yeah, they, they had a good summer. Them niggas had a good run. Yeah, and they spent even, I, I'm sitting there, and someone was telling me, yeah, my brother's getting paid 1800 every two weeks. I said, this nigga make more than me. And I go to work every day. In the shit. In the shit. Yeah, that's why it's like. That's why I was pissed off. I said, you guys didn't do nothing for us. So if you if all. you was an essential worker and you got that SBA loan and, like, and you got that shit, man. Why, good, good. good. I'm been glad stressed you got out for us. Like, people working for the city, we've been stressed the fuck out. Like people got kids and shit, they can't. Man. You know what I'm saying? It's like we out here working. City. Everybody shit. that's been working. Yeah, yeah, I'm not just right. saying. Like, we it's just crazy. Stressing us the fuck out. Like, Boy, you getting your life. They not even thinking about hazard space. They, they own our ass. Like, y'all ain't do this. Y'all, man, we don't give a fuck about this. And then what about the young lady that got shot four times delivering some mail? Yeah, like I heard that. somebody just got shot. And yeah. then she's in stable condition. You know what I'm saying? And then now this puts on the awareness of us as essential workers. Do we. Decide to pack for care. You'll get all this information again, probably on another podcast. Y'all is us. You feel me? Because. <laughs> like that jingle boy. Hey. <laughs> because I feel like now you should be able to care. Well, like me, I was a contractor, me and I'm owner. I am going to carry. I don't give a fuck. You can't make me not carry. Right. I carry it back when I went to Kentucky. I what's that with coward motherfuckers do shit like that? They're going to, you got to pay attention to what's going on. Man, that the dollar store by me, Family Dollar, restocked up, look great. I said, they're going to get y'all ass around Black Pirate. They're closing down Walmart. Every place that's big that's known for Black Friday and Thanksgiving, they're closing it down. Reason mm -hmm. being is because they're like, man, we don't want that same shit to happen again. Oh, it's going to happen. Not only that, but the COVID shit, too, because they they been they saying from they the jump, that oh, October, winter going to be worse. Yeah. They're projecting that October is going to hit. And, man, I had that shit in November. 
from last year. Now I'm praying I don't get that shit again. I'm just saying, like, man, please protect yourself. Also, if you are a essential worker that's, that's out there in the streets as a delivery person, man, please protect oh, yourself. Man. All that kind of stuff because they're coming. These cats ain't got they run out of funds of money. And what I believe is going to happen right around because they got a debate coming up. I feel like they get ready to drop some more money. If so, you do drop some more money, you know I'm in. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Money, money, money. Who can you trust? All about the Me. cash. Me, I'm giving away free money. And where is the Batman? <laughs> He's at home, <laughs> washing his tights. If Trump bust that out, boy. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. That'd be crazy. Boy, he was, hey, they don't, he was gonna win Ohio, because I was in Ohio and Kentucky uh, the other day. That's where they get it in. Man, in a Confederate flag, right? When you get the pit stop, I'm like, man, I looked, I saw the Confederate flag, I was like, it's time to go. Yeah, I'm like, reason to open camp? They, oh, yeah, you know they carry good in Kentucky. Yeah. Atlanta carrying good because they don't have all these stipulations that we got to have. Oh, you got to get a four-way card here and this, that, third card. Yeah, we got to get your four-way card first. Yeah. My shit finna expire. I got to uh, Man, I applied for my shit in March. I still ain't got it. For real. Well, you I looked good. it up. They said it's still pending. Oh, wow. You can go through a class now. It took now. that long. Right. Oh, because everybody and their mama was doing it. I'm telling you, boy. Everybody was doing it for Silly Carey. Everybody, no, everybody was right. doing their six months. It no, it shouldn't take that long. The four way don't take that long. <clears throat> I ain't so, got no felonies. <laughs> we don't know that. I don't even so know. So, what's that? You know what I'm saying? The choose wisely, corner. That, that, that's, that's where you're giving it up. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know, put my two things. <laughs> you know, all right, time to do two interceptions. This nigga, child, oh, oh my god, no money, time. But Drew Brees can't say nothing because he said a racist, uh, racist. All throughout the, uh, the whole thing. Yeah. So fuck Drew Brees too. Shit. All right, man. Before I close this thing on out, I want to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to the NMG Group Network on SoundCloud. If you're on that SoundCloud and you subscribe, you can listen to all of the shows on the NMG Network. What that means is you can hear the latest episode of the Late Nights with Sexy and Savage, entitled Eskimo Bros. All right. What? You can hear episode 10 of the Woman to Woman podcast. You can hear episode 74 of Boulevard Ad Radio. And you can hear the latest episode of the Hot Take Wrestling podcast. And because I said so. Oh, yeah. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We on all major digital streaming platforms. Make sure you go and you listen to the Six Piece with Mild Sauce playlist by the Chauvinist Pig podcast. That's on everything. You can listen to it on Tidal. You can listen to it on iTunes, Spotify, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that, that, that. Y'all got anything? Yeah, y'all is us. We'll be having a new, new episode coming out this week. We got so much to tell. We're going to talk to y'all a little bit about being your own damn boss. Entrepreneurship. You hear me? It's nothing to like being your, your own get your damn money. butt. And I'm once again, on ass. Yeah. once again, check out late night's episode. We're shooting a new episode today. And this one, then we're going to talk about relationships. So stay tuned for that. All right, man. So there you have it. Episode number 75 is in boop, the boop, books. Boop, boop. Make sure you listen to that Conway. From a king to a god. Talk to him. All right. Boop. And we'll catch y'all next week, baby. Peace. Peace.